the tax percentage here in germany can range between 35% to 45% and it can get a bit confusing which tax class category do you fall into the tax classes here in germany are segregated on different factors now this is mainly for people who are single or divorced or widowed with no children or they are married but permanently separated however tax class 3 is in case if your spouse is not earning or is earning significantly less as i mentioned the tax classes system here in germany can be a bit tricky in case if you are still confused and you are not sure what is the right tax class for you it's always advisable for you to talk to a tax consultant Hey everybody welcome to my channel good feet in germany and in today's video we are going to discuss about different tax classes that we have here in germany in a very simple language with certain examples so that it is more clear for you just to let you know the tax percentage here in germany can range between 35% to 45% yes it is pretty high here in germany and it is very important for you to understand in which tax class category do you fall into so in this video we are going to discuss about each and every tax class category so that it's easier for you to understand which is the right tax class for you here in germany i am gurpreet i work as a lead hr here in germany i recruit a lot of candidates in germany and all different countries in europe i have created this channel so that i can help you settle well in germany and find your dream job sooner here in germany i post lot of videos on different topics with very very detailed explanation so in case if you are working in germany it is very important for you to understand which tax class do you fall into so that you can calculate your net salary a net salary is the take home salary so that is a very very important number now there are six different tax classes here in germany and it can get a bit confusing which tax class category do you fall into so basically the tax classes here in germany are segregated on different factors such as what is your marital status what is your income how many multiple jobs do you have do you have more than one job how many children do you have and so on and so forth so based on these different factors the tax classes are defined and then you need to understand which tax class do you fall into so let's get started and go through each and every tax class with example so that it's clear for you before we jump into the topic i talk to a lot of people who are trying to find a job here in germany and my one advice to each one of you is in case if you're looking to find a job in germany you need to have a perfect resume if you're getting a lot of rejections that means your resume is incorrect and how do you create a perfect resume i have created this crash course you can take that course and that will really help you to find your next dream job here in germany i guarantee you in case if you go through that course in next two weeks you will start getting interview calls you just need to be very consistent and you need to understand the technique of crafting the best resume for you in case if you are looking for a job in germany or any european country now let's go back to our topic and understand what is tax class 1 here in germany so as i said there are six tax classes here in germany and let's understand one by one about each of these tax classes so the first tax class that we have is tax class 1 now this is mainly for people who are single or divorced or widowed with no children or they are married but permanently separated so basically this class uh, is for the single people and here say for example if max is single and has no children then you fall into this category or say for example is max was once married and now living separately and they are uh, divorced then again it falls into this category and say if you have a monthly gross salary of 3500 then approximately tax percentage will be around 30% and what you get in hand is around say 2450 monthly net salary now please understand the tax percentage that i am mentioning here is a approximate this is not the actual tax percentage so do not go by it this is just to give you an example the second tax class that we have is class 
which is single parent with at least one child say for example you were married you are separated you are divorced or you are widowed or any reason you are a single parent and you have at least one child then you fall into tax class category of 2 in this case in example would be maria is single mother with a son so she falls into that category and say again the gross salary of maria is 3500 say for example the tax percentage here is 25% this is just an example and the net salary for maria would be around 2625 euro monthly net in hand so let's go to the next tax class category which is tax class 3 now in tax class 3 basically what happens is suppose you're married however your spouse earns significantly less than you then you can fall into tax class 3 and your spouse will fall into another tax class or for example if you're married and your spouse is not earning then you fall into tax class 3 say for example hans is married to anna and anna does not work so in that case hans will fall into tax class 3 example if his gross salary monthly gross salary is 4500 euro then the approximate tax percentage will be say 25% and what he will get in hand is around 3375 euros this is for hans and only if anna is not working or if anna is working significantly less and in that case what happens to anna in what tax category does anna fall into that is tax class 5 which we are going to talk about later however tax class 3 is in case if your spouse is not earning or is earning significantly less significantly less can be for example between if there is more than 400 500 euros different then that can be considered as significantly less however please keep checking that the numbers keeps changing then comes the tax class 4 now tax class 4 is the most common tax class category here in germany in case if you are married and the both the spouses are earning and both of them are earning similar amount then both of them will fall into tax class 4 it does not matter whether you have children you do not have children if both of them are earning similar amount then you are into this category say for example michael is married to sara and both of them are employed and earn similar salaries say they earn 3500 each then 30% approximately for example is their tax and what they get in hand is 2450 each then comes the next tax class category which is class 5 now class 5 is say for example you are married to a spouse who earns more than you and who is falling into tax class 3 however you are earning less then you fall into tax class 5 category so for example lisa is married to paul paul is earning more than lisa and so paul will fall into tax class 3 category however because lisa is earning less lisa will fall into tax class 5 category for example lisa is earning 2 2000 euro monthly gross the tax percentage for example is 35% and lisa gets in hand euro 1300 net monthly however paul will be into tax class 3 category now one important thing here to notice by default everybody whenever you uh, start your taxation you fall into tax class 1 category that is the by default uh, class tax class assigned to everybody in case if you get married then you need to change your tax class proactively reach the the tax department give your marriage certificate and all other documents and then you have to tell them what tax class category will you and your spouse fall into whether it will be tax class 3 whether it will be tax class 4 or tax class 5 these three tax classes are mainly for married people just the difference between salary will define in which tax class category do you fall into very simple if you are single then you do not have to marry you fall into tax class 1 or tax class 2 depending upon whether you have a child or you do not have a child 
I hope that clears. Then comes the tax class six. Tax class six is usually known as the highest percentage of tax class. Here, in case if you are employed and you have multiple jobs and uh, you are getting income from multiple sources, then you fall into tax class six. For example, Tom has a second job besides his main job. His second his second job salary is into tax class six. That is, uh, say around fifteen hundred euro gross is what he's earning, and he gets forty percent tax on that, so he get nine hundred in hand. So basically, tax class six is in case if you are having multiple jobs, then you come into tax class six. So I hope this clears. There are six tax class categories here, and here whatever I have just explained you here, there is a detailed explanation of how these tax classes are calculated and in which tax class do you fall into. Again, these percentages that I've mentioned here are also approximate percentages, so do not consider that. As I mentioned, the tax classes system here in Germany can be a bit tricky. In case if you are still confused and you are not sure what is the right tax class for you, it's always advisable for you to talk to a tax consultant, pay a little fees, and get the right information for you. Because you are in a new country, and this can be too much information for you to handle all of a sudden so always take the advice from the experts that will make your job easy so this was about different tax classes here in germany i hope it was simple for you to understand in case if you want to go through the document that i was just sharing you can click in the description below and you can go ahead and download that document and you can you know review it once if you have any doubt in this particular channel i post lots of videos in case if you want to move to germany and settle in germany or even if you are looking for a job in Germany then subscribing to this channel is going to be very very beneficial for you now let's talk about this do you really need german language if you are coming to germany well sooner or later you would need to know german language if you want to apply for pr you would need german language if you want to apply for citizenship you would need german language if you want to say, live here in germany for a longer time and you want to integrate well in the country then knowing german language would be very very beneficial however one tip here the german courses in germany has become very very expensive even for a1 and a2 so it's always good to have these german classes in your home country and come prepared in case if you want to know the best german classes or institutes i have tied up with this amazing institute that is there and they have trained more than thousands and thousands of students in different languages and in german and you can go ahead and register yourself using the link below once you register you are going to get some special discount because you've gone through me and that's going to help you in learning german it's always good to learn german and then come to germany that's going to increase the job market for you i am doing everything that i can to support you to and to help you in case if you are planning to move to germany and find a job for yourself also if you want to talk to me you have any questions related to germany or you want to create a perfect cv for your next job change here in germany you can reach out to me or you can take this crash course that i have created i am good read i work in germany as a lead hr and my whole intention of starting this youtube channel is to help you and to support you and provide you right information that will help you settle well in germany i wish you all the best i'm looking forward to talk to you again remember in all this you need to be happy and you need to take care of your health Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.